welcome to this episode of Wasting All the Time Level 3. My name is Dave and I will be your host. Joining me for this episode are my three cohorts, Jess. Hi, I'm the first one this time. That's cool. John. Hey, I am the second, which um, I guess that makes me number two. <laughs> and Cody. No flashbacks to elementary school at all. <laughs> <laughs> None. Because <laughs> I blocked it all out. Mm. <laughs> What's that? Elementary school? That's something for Watson? <laughs> <laughs> this is an improv comedy podcast. We will be bringing you segments and then we finish the show. <laughs> yeah. I Thank mean, you for finishing that. That's it. I, I finished the show. I finished. <laughs> Poor Cody. <laughs> I, I had like, so many. I had so many. Mm, you had so many? I saw it. And then I finished. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Nice. <laughs> We're going to kick things off with a segment from our wonderful cohort, Jess, mm. where she's going to talk about a thing and then we're going to listen and then we're going to do a thing based on the thing that we listened to her talking about clear concise as crystal clear as kyber crystals clear ac yo style it here we go art what you want to know Jess is gonna shape our minds like Play-Doh. A to the R to the final T. Art's been around since the dawn of humanity. Marble, oils, whatever the medium. Jess is gonna shout it from on top of the proscenium. Grab your notebook and make a note. Cause Jess is the best. Jess is the gold stylist. Okay, so what I really wanna talk to you about right now is it's gonna be a trend. The trend that I'm gonna be talking about today is the fact that we follow f***ing trends, okay? Now here's the thing, here's the thing. Like trends, people seem to think that trends like pop up out of nowhere, right? They think that that they just, there's just this one really super savvy person on TikTok or whatever, and then suddenly they're all like, oh my God, I'm the one that just became <laughs> the most Regency core person that you've ever met. And, and I have all of this and here are all my sponsors and I'm so amazing, stop it. Okay, let us recognize what trends really are. They are an uptick of our collective consciousness trying to divert ourselves from the fact that the world is burning, the fact that the world is crumbling one bit at a time until we know that there is nothing left of any of us anywhere, ever, okay? So instead, how about how about this? How about this? Instead of dealing with trends and like, oh, why don't we do art that's supposed to deal with these trends or that trend or this trend up down left right let's stop following them and then just do stuff that makes us freaking happy can we just do that can we just like can we just do our artwork and do our drawings and do our paintings and do our crochet and our hobbies and all of that shit and just like stop forcing people to to like oh well you should really do it like this because this is the popular thing fuck you fuck you let i i I've got maybe, at best, I got like 20 years left in me, okay? That's all I got. That's possibly, I don't know, I'm staring down old lady door. And, and just, I just, I just want to draw some fucking ghosties. <laughs> and I'm well, so that's... old, I couldn't hear when the music stopped. <laughs> well, we're delighted that you want to draw ghosties for us. I think that ghosties are a good pursuit. Oh, good, good, because uh, that's really yeah. all I could draw. Oh, but like, as in, not like, 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 cowboy ghosties or ninja ghosties or. Oh, what, absolutely like... can draw, draw okay. different oh, types okay. of ghosties, but okay. ghosties is it. They're not cowboys and ninjas, then, if we ever need that from you. They're, they're, they're cowboy and ninja ghosties. Okay. Uh, your so portfolio it's a ghosty was, oh, yeah. with mm -hmm. a cowboy hat on, mm -hmm. or it's a ghosty with a ninja mask on. Okay. That's how it works. How expansive is this ghosty capability? Like, could we, are we talking like, could we do like, like Arnold Schwarzenegger ghosty or like popular political figure ghosty and do a little satire? We, you know, we're really trying to branch out here. We're really trying to follow what the people want. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, clearly the people want ghosties, though. That's what they want. So that's what I do but you're here. That's what I draw is ghosties. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> What's your? What would you say your most popular, like your most attention-getting ghostie has ever been? I would like, say it was probably the horny ghostie. That got a lot of clicks. Makes sense. I don't makes know sense. why, because he's just a little ghostie with devil horns. Internet's a strange place, my friend. That's that's why we're here. We're here to bring a little stability to the madness, a little bit of um, whimsy. Well, ghosties are about nothing but stability. I'll tell you that because the design is identical. The baseline design is identical, ghosty to ghosty. It's just the accessories that make them different. Okay, and that's that was the sense I was getting from your portfolio. And what we really liked the kind of breadth of accessories that ghosties could have. Like, I mean, just flipping through this, there's a lot here. Like, oh yeah, yeah, lots holy of shit, them. dude. Did you see the gold miner ghosty? Uh, oh yeah, look at that. He's got a whole pickaxe, a little helmet with the um, with the light on top. That's that's pretty cute. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a coal miner ghosty as well, and mm-hmm. a silver miner ghosty. Oh. And a quartz miner ghosty, and a diamond miner ghosty. He has blood on his hands. <laughs> 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 that's what i'm talking about that's what people want people want the oomph they want they want the if it bleeds it leads they want it what sells what other what subversive ghosties do you have <laughs> what breaks the rules what ghosties do you excuse have me. excuse me hmm. i'm just coming in for a vibe check oh uh-huh i just wanted I, the oh, vibes in here were getting a bit dead well, that's probably because of all the ghosties. Oh, yeah. I I can see them. I see auras. Um, not uh-huh. a big deal. Yeah. Um, but I see auras and I can see that there's like a lot of corporeal beings. So many. Janet, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm really glad you're here. I am in the middle of an interview. Um, Is it fun? Well, I think the ghosties are really fun myself. Janet? Mm-hmm. Why is it? Why is there another voice here besides yours? Janet? Oh, yeah. Well, the thing is, is that when Rude. I noticed I needed a vibe <laughs> check here, I also might have lit this candle that uh, lets oh. the dad communicate with us because mm-hmm. everybody likes. I mean, everybody likes a three wick candle, right? I'm a everybody candle ghosty. This one not only does it smell like fresh linen, but it communicates with the dead freshly. So fresh and fun. I mean, if it's vibes you want, I've got a ghosty that plays the vibraphone. <laughs> That's fun. Hey, See? Fun. Hey, if uh, that guy if thinks actual- it's fun. An actual Dead ghost likes know. it. It must be gold. Yeah, that's all right. That's fantastic. Wow. I've right. never had anybody just, have a better recommendation for their job. I just wanted. Well, I mean, so I've just got a question. Um, okay. You know, since we're doing this vibe check thing, you do ghosties. Do you do like self portrait ghosties? You mean like take a ghostie and make it look kind of like you? No, like there's all of these corporeal beings around us right now could do uh-huh. like do some portraits of them as long as they look basically like a ghosty yeah okay, i don't see well, why i because, couldn't do that because there would be like a lot of money for us in that too especially oh, if yeah. like you can do the ghosts of people's ghost pets like and if you can one. make them nfts please yeah Oh, we tried that. Yeah. Stockholders did not enjoy the NFT dip. But the dead love it. It's fun. It's fun for the dead. F U N. Three way. F U N. Fun. Yeah. I mean, I can't really do pets. Uh, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Style It. Thank you, Jess. Thank you for the inspiration. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. now that we've done that, it's time to hand things over to our uh, next cohort, John. Okay. Okay, so the game I brought is called Horoscope. Basically, what we're going to do is uh, one of us is going to have their horoscope read by me. Um, and then we are going to uh, play a scene inspired by what is in that horoscope. So who would like to uh, know their future? I'm an Aries. Aries, just like Unless me. Unless you want my rising. You could read either. I don't know what that means, so we'll go with the Aries. Okay. Getting off the high of your season, Friday brings you back down to Earth when the sun moves into Taurus and your value zone. As we get deeper into spring, it's time to focus on the people and things that make you feel safe and secure. Invest in yourself and create a budget to build a solid foundation. Luckily, Saturday is a big day for windfalls when Jupiter conjoins Uranus in your value zone. Boons can come easily to you in the form of cash or gifts that can boost your bank account and self-esteem. Make sure you don't spend it all in one place, Aries. After a messy and critical retrograde, you're finally ready to do the work in your relationship instead of looking for perfection when Juno moves forward in your habit zone on Sunday. Be of service to your partner to make your love stronger. That's a lot of words. I got stuck on two of them. Mm. <laughs> value yeah. zone. <laughs> yeah. What's, What's the value zone? <laughs> Welcome to the value zone. <laughs> Did you ever wonder what would happen when you actually put time and effort into yourself? I know I have. What would happen? Well, that's all we do here <laughs> at the Value Zone. Uh, valuing you so you value others. It's like therapy, but without a license. <laughs> that's right. In fact, not a single one of us has a license, either for identification purposes or for training purposes. That's right. I got here on the bus. <laughs> I'm not legally allowed to describe how I got to this destination. Bow, bow, bow. Man, I feel like I don't have a lot of self-person value. What should I do? Get some! <laughs> Here at the value zone! <laughs> oh my god. Is the hand, is the Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> oh boy. So that was, uh, oh that was horoscope. Thank you, John. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that along. Sure. All right, Cody, it's your <laughs> turn. It's me. Cody. Well, hello, friends. For the game I have chosen to bring for this performance. Oh, I was going to use that as an adjective, and it was actually the noun. Is numbered sentences. Oh, Lord. Yes. Each player is assigned a number. They perform a scene speaking in single sentence lines containing the given number of words. Oh, fuck. Remember I am Barber? <laughs> I am Barber. I am uh, Barber. <laughs> Don't you try I'm that Barbara. again. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Dave, you will have two words. Commandant Jess, you will have five words. I, myself will have seven words. John, are you ready for it? Sure. I love how enthusiastic you are. Thanks, makes me feel good about this whole thing. Good, good. <laughs> 13 words. Because 13 I'm words. Feeling okay. punitive oh and gosh. hilarious. Yeah, just say 10 words and then I am barber. 
<laughs> Whoa, that's a cool dog you got. Hey, thanks. What is that? Like a uh, Weimariner or? I think. It's really, really pretty. Are you happy? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm super excited for the judging competition. So cool. <laughs> does your dog do tricks or flips? It does. What kind of flips does it do? <laughs> Big ones. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been schmoozing up to judges? A little bit. <laughs> Mitzi! No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. She keeps running from me. You should keep better hold of dogs. It happens. <laughs> what breed is Mitzi? Thanks for she the confidence boost. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> what breed is Mitzi? She looks weird. Excuse me. That's kind of rude. I'll say. I'm not talking about you. Your dog? My dog is my extension. <laughs> <laughs> Mitzi, no, 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 no. <laughs> She's never going to win with disobedient dogs. No, sir. Oh, Mr. Judge, when do we start? Well, that all depends on when you all get your animals in line. I'm ready. <laughs> She's been chasing that mutt for hours. Nancy, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, we can't start until every animal entered in competition is in line. <laughs> I'm first. <laughs> Mitzi wants the line here. Oh, okay. <laughs> the line, unfortunately, is over here and all animals must be on it. Special treatment. Classic Mitzi owner type person. But she's sitting so pretty. <laughs> it's all right. This happens all the time. We can wait another couple hours. I'm here. Yeah, we've followed the rules. Let's go. Missy, no, 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 no. <laughs> It happens. <laughs> It's all right. These <laughs> pants are old. I wear them here for this purpose. Old pants. <laughs> old pants. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled wow. that from too real a place. <laughs> I was going to say, that was, a, that was some method acting right there. Hot damn. Yeah. <laughs> And in, in true John fashion, the long-suffering character, fine. This happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you have to count out 13 words, <laughs> you have to be a in, little deliberate about it. It's going to be measured. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know how I many times I considered being an asshole and coming in with uh, a dog with some long-ass name like Caesar Augustus Arbuthnot Bruno Juan Diego Bartholomew the Bloody. third, first of his name. <laughs> <laughs> and just saying that every single uh, time. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> but I couldn't, I did not trust myself to remember the whole thing. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was numbered sentences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Cody. My pleasure. All right. Now it's the moment that everyone's been waiting for. The final segment. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. It's my turn. That reminds me of Dune. You could be Muad Dave. No? 
No, just me? Okay. Um, Something something popcorn bucket. Okay. Okay. Good. Full points for pop culture reference. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> you gotta redo it. It's so good. And then watch the movies. And then read it again. And then watch the movies again. And generate a healthy obsession with spice. So I was um, listening back to a, a Christmas episode of our podcast not too long ago. And we played a game on that called uh, Reception Line, I think is what it was called, or Receiving Line, something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. The gist of it is that uh, one person is the host and they take it in turn to welcome each guest as they arrive to the party. So the, the host will say who it is that is arriving and then uh, one of you steps in and portrays that character. And we just keep doing that in rotation. Hell yeah. Okay. And it seemed like that would be fun to do. I don't know if we've ever done it on the regular show. So I imagine I we probably so have might. not. Were you thinking you'd like to be the host, Dave, or are you going to foist that on one of us? I was foist. thinking of foisting it um, because Cody did such a good job last time. Uh, uh, I thought I maybe he would want to do it again. Would you yeah. uh, portray the host and welcome all the various guests? And then Jess, John, and I will play those guests. Yes. Very good. You as the hosts are familiar with all of the guests, and so you'll yeah. have like questions to ask and yeah. you know, a little little bit of small talk catching up, maybe. Small talkery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you for asking, John. <laughs> okay. We got cheese balls, cheese curds, cheese cheese, curd balls, ball balls. Yeah, I think we're set. This is gonna be good. It's gonna be a great party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a good party, Ted. Don't be nervous. Go be nervous. Everyone likes you. You're handsome. You're good. Oh, all right. Oh, Surfer Steve. What's up, man? Hey. Oh, yeah, man. I, I, I'm having a good old time. Hey, can, you got room in your garage for my board? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I just cleaned up for the, for the party. Just, you know, watch out for the car and the windows. Yeah, and that's what my Uber driver said. <laughs> Those guys are hilarious. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. yeah. How is How are the? Uh, wait, 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 wait. I got this. I got this. How are the? How are the gnarly curls? The gnarly Rock. curls are. Thank you for asking. Curlier and gnarlier than ever. You know. That's real. Good. A lot of gnar. A lot of gnar what? out there, bra. Uh, yeah. I'm so happy for you, dude. When you have a chance, let's have a moment for Tommy. Didn't make what? it. He what got hit by the reef. Tommy. <laughs> Got hit by the reef? Yeah. Yeah. He was just vibing on the curls, you know, and uh, uh-huh. the reef got him. Just reached out and slapped him. Wow. That's, 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 that's terrible. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, we can, we can do a moment of silence for him later. I'm, wow. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. They go so thanks. fast, you know? Appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Going in. I got, I got some snacks on the table and, and you know, people should be showing up anytime here. Yeah. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, it's my house, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna answer the door, I'm gonna answer the door. <gasps> Hi, Strung Debbie? Oh, I didn't think you were gonna make it, what's up? Hi! <laughs> yeah, hey, wow. yeah, no, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it, are those ball cheese? Yeah, I got the ball cheese just like you want, I knew, <gasps> I, I put it aside. You know, his first... It first showed up in a uh, American cooking magazine, uh, June oh. 1974. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's wow, cool. That's great. Uh, yeah, well, I got like I said, we got the snacks. I got I got a little sensory deprivation room for you if you need to take some time away. Oh no no no! no. I gotta feel everything at this party. <laughs> oh, everything at this party. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I'm 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 glad you're looking forward to experiencing it all. Yeah, go on it. Yeah, yeah. Steve's already here. He's okay. There she goes. All right. Well, there's cheese curls. I told you. I told you. Disgraced sturgeon, surgeon Stan. What's up, friend? I know you all have free time. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, well, uh, you know this stuff has really dried up lately. So, mm. uh, since the accident. I uh, yeah, I mean, we can talk about it if you want. Like I, you know, it's a party and all. I but mean, if you I, want to talk about it, it's pretty interesting that I did to the, 
to the person, <clears throat> you know, accidentally. Uh, right, right, the yeah, person. yeah. Is, is, did he, is he going to make it? Is he going to pull through? Like, I know oh, he's some... very much alive. Very oh. much alive. <laughs> it's fascinating. It's an accident that happened. <laughs> With the dolphin fin. Oh, I thought that was just a tabloid picture. That was you? That was really good. Oh, yeah, that was the, the yeah, the accidental. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I mean, it was bad. Dolphinoplasty. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm, well, I'm glad you're not in jail, for one. I am also buddies. glad that all I have done is lose my medical license and that I will not be uh, imprisoned. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. Like I said, you know, we're, we're buddies. You and me, we go back. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm glad you're yeah, here. Yeah, all the way back to your, um, you know, your hernia surgery. <laughs> there were no <laughs> accidents then, ah, I am afraid. Right. But we could have an accident if you like. Um, you know, uh, uh, let, let me get a few drinks at the party. and We can talk about it. All right, we can, we can, we can hash that out. Wunderbar, wunderbar. <laughs> Good to see you, Stan. What a guy. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> Mafia wanna be Kyle? Is that you? Yeah, you know. Hey, what's up? It's me. I'm here. <laughs> To, um, offer you protection. Oh, that's, that's real nice, Kyle. I, I do appreciate that. What's it, what's it going to cost me? <laughs> I'm sure I don't know what you mean. I'm just trying to say it would be bad if the party sucked. Yeah, that would be really bad. I mean, do you know something? Shit, should, should I get more cheese balls? It would be bad if the <laughs> cheese balls were to all go in the trash. Uh, that would be bad, too. Oh, man. That would be bad, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, thanks for the heads up. Um, Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really glad yeah. to see you. I'm, I'm, Heck, I'm glad you're not in jail, too. Uh, uh, jail? <laughs> Tell you what, I could help keep you out of jail. I know some people. Uh -huh. People who would watch the cheese curls real careful. Oh. Make sure nothing bad happened. That's a, that's Keep great. you out of jail. Oh, they could watch the cheese curds and keep me out of jail? Okay. I mean... And you can trust them because they're family. Oh, you're bringing your family. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, excellent. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to see them. Like an uncle or... Parents? Yeah. Good. Like That's... an uncle. <laughs> Is this working? <laughs> <laughs> I got I got it. Still my house, still my house. Oh hey! Always campaigning political candidate James. What's up, dude? <laughs> well, what isn't other than our high hopes for this great nation? Am I right? <laughs> Here, have a button. Oh hey. Well, that's Huge. Thank you. Um, yeah, good to see you, man. I'm, I'm glad you're not too busy to stop by my, my little party. No. I just want you to know <laughs> that there isn't a single person that isn't important enough for me to stop by for their party. Little? Oh. No. You're big and you're great. Just like this nation. <laughs> wow, that's, that's really nice. Oh, that, makes, that makes me feel really good. Uh, what do you, what did you did you bring anything snacks or drinks or what's uh so right so I brought uh, some extra buttons okay. I brought some stickers I brought <laughs> some koozies for your drinks I brought some t-shirts I brought <laughs> some bumper stickers as well 
then, you know, because some are vinyl stickers to put on your water bottle. These ones are bumper stickers. <laughs> I also bought a petition uh, for people to hopefully sign um, to make sure that I am on the ballot this year. So, you know, we don't have the same unfortunate accident that we had last time with the goat. And then I also uh, made sure to bring um, some <laughs> envelopes in case anybody wants to get together and, and put some money in some envelopes and hand it on over to me to help continue the conversation contribution to uh, get us back on the right path, you know, the right wow. path of freedom <laughs> and honesty and integrity, you know, you know? Yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah, that's, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, I items. I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really glad you're here. Um, we're, we're going to play some, some games probably in a few, if you're, if you're down for that. Oh, I love to play a game as long as it's rigged in my favor. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> oh. We're number of We're number something. drunk. We're number drunk. Well, there you have it. That was the <laughs> receiving line, and we met all kinds of very interesting mm -hmm. characters. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Wasting All the Time. I hope you enjoyed it. I think we enjoyed doing it. Non-committal, motionless silence from my cohorts. Very good. Very you good. don't speak giggity. for me. I speak for me. I enjoyed it. I said giggity. If there was anything that you liked in particular about this episode, go to wastingallthetime.com slash vote to let us know about it because at the end of the year, we'll take all of those submissions, put them up for voting and devise a top 10 list from said submissions. So until next time when we will waste more, I don't want to keep saying time. Why not? Because it's marjoram. Marjoram. <laughs> What's good? Now what do I say? Yeah. I mean, instead of time, marjoram. Oh, I thought you were going to feed me dialogue. Yeah. Oh, like I mean, you could also say... Cyrano Cyrano style. Style. Uh, sage. Sage. Um, say oregano. sage. Oregano. I like breakfast, say sage. Oregano. <laughs> what? I Oregano Cranes. Aubergine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's a little bit more bonus wasting time for you. <gasps> Until time, time, next time, time, take, take time, take time, listen time wise to this. And thanks ever so much. But. I've been Dave. <laughs> but. <laughs> No, Goodbye. no people, just butts. <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs> Congratulations, you've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, an improv comedy podcast. If you enjoyed the show, be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts and Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. If you really enjoyed the show, support us at patreon.com slash timewastepod or go to wastingallthetime.com. Thank you.